Good morning to you again, Lester. Um, it's over to you with your interview. Thank you very much. 400 of uh, the National Assembly's MPs have been called back to Cape Town today for a special sitting of the National Assembly for that adoption uh, and the, the tabling of their Powers and Privileges Committee report as well as wrapping up Parliament's business for the end. One of those MPs who've come back is Msidisi Fultani, who was on that Powers and Privileges uh, Committee report. Uh, Mr. Fultani, thank you very much for joining me. Last week, opposition parties held a press conference, a joint press conference tabling your concerns exactly with this the with this, with this process of uh, the allegations against the EFF MPs and the powers and privileges committee report briefly what was that could the concerns with this committee's report thank you very much for the opportunity we had a number of uh, concerns but I'll just highlight a few for starters the role that the speaker played in the whole uh, fiasco um, you know, the inappropriate use of uh, her discretionary powers when the EFF were yearning for an opportunity to present uh, follow-up questions. That is highly questionable as to how she decided that uh, she should rather give the opportunity to other people, including an ANC person who kept on raising points of order. Secondly, and perhaps more importantly than anything else, the very composition of uh, this committee was very, very problematic. For its special purpose, which is judicial in nature, it should never have been majoritarian, for starters, because it's a given, uh, 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 you know, a fact that uh, if anybody outside of the ANC is charged by the committee and uh, the committee has got to pass judgment, it is sure to go the ANC's way. It should be balanced. Numbers should be balanced. So that was very, very critical to us. And going forward, that needs to be attended to. And lastly, the Malema presentation, which had something like 78 critical points was uh, objected to in the sense that uh, the legal advice that we got from the parliamentary legal team or legal advisors was to the effect that uh, that evidence couldn't be handled simply because uh, nobody swore to it and that is incorrect because the rules rule 138b does not put that as a requirement at all the only people who have got to swear are witnesses who present themselves in front of the committee to lead evidence that those were the three main things there are others, but those were the three one. Last one, last one that I can give is the fact that the speaking equipment, um, you know, um, was not f functioning properly. The Mwango incident, you know, um, you know, is well documented in the hindsight. It's clear that the speaking equipment did, uh, you know, uh, render us in the situation which uh, we found ourselves in the day. Now, this report is expected to be tabled today. It's the second order of business in Parliament today. Has the opposition met or caucused in any way? We know that the EFF is, uh, is hell-bent on not having this, this, this report being tabled in the National Assembly today. Could you let us know if the opposition has caucused in any way? We know that your, your, obliga your objections to this report has the, has the, has the, the, the opposition caucused in any way in trying to, to how to defend uh, the, the presentation or the, or the tabling of this report? Um, I think parties individually, they have definitely done so. I'm not sure if collectively they have done so. However, immediately the report was released to us last week, uh, you know, where as opposition parties that were present uh, in, the, um, in the committee, we did caucus together and we wrote our own report. We know that the rules do not allow for presentation of a, a minority report to parliament, but we have prepared our own and based on that, the uh, discussions or rather the arguments that we're going to present in parliament will be based based on that because we considered, you know, those facts that we've got in our alternative report, you know, to be very, very relevant in our democracy. Section 57 of the Constitution gives us the right to be expressed and the, uh, the, 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 the report that's going to be tabled, tabled in Parliament is to the, it does not reflect, you know, anybody else's views. It's so one-sided. Anybody doesn't require any intelligent person to say that this is too one-sided a story. Ntidisi Fultani, the uh, MP for the UDM in Parliament, saying that opposition party is not happy with this powers and privileges report. It could be a fiery day in the National Assembly this afternoon. Ka Kathy. Thank you, Lester. And of course, we're going to be watching those developments in Parliament. A reminder that we're going to be not only crossing to Leicester throughout uh, the day, but we'll also bring you live coverage of all that unfolds in Parliament from around 2 p.m. this afternoon.